See what Ampi Flegre volcano turns red, scientists fear volcanic unrest. After the water in the Averno crater lake turned red last week due to a severe algae bloom, parts of the sea in the Gulf of Pozzuoli have recently turned red, apparently due to the same phenomenon. Algal blooms in Lake Averno are most common in winter, when deep water is warmer than at the surface and rises, carrying with it algae that can spread explosively. However, this year's algae bloom, especially its spread into the surrounding open sea, appears to be much stronger than locals can recall in recent memory. Many people are concerned about whether there is a link between increased seismic activity and the release of gas from the volcano's caldera. The Campi Flegre volcanic area, located on the western outskirts of Naples, Italy, and spilling out into the Mediterranean Sea, is dotted with overlapping craters of varying sizes. More than 500,000 people have moved around the dormant volcano, whose rumbling and spewing smoke reveal the fires that still lurk beneath, according to National Geographic. Massive eruptions of volcanic ash and rock have blanketed the region twice in the past 60,000 years, and smaller eruptions have occurred before and after each major eruption, including the most recent in 1538. A team of experts has now examined the chemistry of volcanic rock and glass from previous eruptions for clues about what's happening in the magma chamber below, using the data to develop a computer model to mimic the conditions leading up to an eruption. Their findings, published today in the journal Science Advances, could help scientists better understand the wake and sleep cycles of this powerful volcano. We can expect it to happen, but we don't know when, explains lead author Francesca Forni of ETH Zurich in Switzerland. She stresses that the study focused on chemical cycles, not when or if Campi Flegre is likely to erupt soon. Furthermore, many academics not involved in the study have raised concerns about the applicability of the findings to the current situation. To be clear, the volcano is not going to erupt right away. Researchers are continuing to monitor the system and study indicators that might indicate an impending eruption. Any major explosion envisioned is likely to occur thousands of years or more in the future. Many locals are concerned about a possible link, as Campi Flegre has been in the early stages of growing unrest for some time. One theory is that the algae blooms in the water are caused by increased heat flow on the seabed as a result of increased volcanic outgassing. There is no concrete link between the algae blooms and volcanic activity. There has been no scientific evaluation by the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology INGV, which monitors the volcano's activity, but if the two were indeed linked, scientists would certainly know about it. Earthquakes in the Campi Flegre area continue to be above background levels. More than 175 earthquakes have occurred in the area in the last 30 days, including two earthquakes of magnitude 3.5 and 3.6 beneath the Solfatara crater on March 16 and 29, which were felt by many residents.